Sure. You uh, you have said on a number of occasions, and in every on every occasion that I have watched you say it, not a single person in the panel. You often talk on panels. Not one person has ever actually reacted to it. <laughs> I totally get it. Nevertheless, it's one of the most important things you regularly say. You live as if there is a God. Is that correct? Well, people ask me if I believe in God. You know, I just, I, I'm going to release a podcast about that because I, I answered that question for about two hours in Australia. Because people kept asking me that question, which I really don't like. I don't like that question. And so I, th I sat and thought about it for a good while, and I tried to figure out why. And, and then I thought, well, you, th you believe. You see. I thought, who would have the audacity to claim that they believed in God? If they examined the way they lived, who would dare say that? To, to believe, you think, to believe in a Christian sense, to actually, this is why Nietzsche said there was only ever one Christian and that was Christ. <laughs> to have the audacity to claim that means that you live it out fully. And that's an, that's an unbearable task in some sense. To be able to accept the structure of existence, the suffering that goes along with it, and the disappointment and the betrayal, and, and to nonetheless act properly, right? To aim at the good with all your heart, right? To, to dispense with the malevolence and your desire for destruction and revenge and all of that, and to face things courageously and to tell the truth, to speak the truth and to act it out. That's what it means to believe. That's what it means. It doesn't, it doesn't mean to state it. It means to act it out. And unless you act it out, you should be very careful about claiming it. And so I've never been comfortable saying anything other than I try to act as if God exists because God only knows what you'd be if you truly believed. I mean, if you think about it in some sense, that's the central idea in Christianity, is that if you were capable of believing, it would be a transfiguring event, a truly transfiguring event. And I know people experience that to one degree or another, but we have no idea what the limit of that is. And we have no idea what the possibility is within each person if they lived a life that was maximally courageous and maximally truthful. You know, because maybe you're running at 60% or 70% or 20% and at cross purposes to yourself. God only knows what you'd be if, if you believed. And so, well, I act, I try to act like I believe, but I'd never claim that I manage it because it's too, it's, it's a lot to manage properly. And you have to be careful about claiming to manage things that you can't manage. And so that's part of the answer to that question. It's a great answer as it happens.